Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Uh, we have a, a special edition today from the road because uh, I got caught up in New Hampshire. Uh, I'm hanging out with my brother and we are uh, driving home from uh, the White Mountains. We did some backpacking, but uh, we won't be home in time to uh, film for tomorrow morning. So we're just gonna do it here on the road together. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, let's open in prayer and then we're gonna read together. This is funny, I, I, I want to close my eyes while praying, but uh, I'm not going to close my eyes. Lord, thank you for being with us. Um, God, you are good. You are so good. Lord, I pray that wherever each of us are today, wherever we are in our daily lives, that right now we just stop, we just quiet our hearts, we just turn to you with humility we look to you, God, the, the creator of the universe, who we know has a good word for us today, who cares about the details in our lives, and who loves us and provides for us. You're a, a good father. Lord, be with us today. Convict us where we need to be convicted and encourage us where we need to be encouraged. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, we are reading 2 Timothy chapter 2. Justin's going to read it. All right. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. When you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, commit to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Share in suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in the concerns of civilian life. He seeks to please the commanding officer. Also, if anyone competes as an athlete, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer ought to be the first to get a share of the crops. Consider what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead and descended from David according to my gospel, for which I suffer to the point of being bound like a criminal. But the word of God is not bound. This is why I endure all things for the elect, so that they also may obtain salvation, which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy, for if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind them of these things and charge them before God not to fight about words. This is useless and leads to the ruin of those who listen. Be diligent to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed, correctly teaching the word of truth. Avoid irreverent and empty speech, since those who engage in it will produce even more godlessness, and their teaching will spread like gangrene. Hymenaeus and Philetus are among them. They have departed from the truth, saying that the resurrection has already taken place and are ruining the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, bearing this inscription, The Lord knows those who are his, and let everyone who calls on the name of the Lord turn away from wickedness. Now in a large house there are not only gold and silver vessels, but also those of wood and clay, some for honorable use and some for dishonorable. So if anyone purifies himself from anything dishonorable, he will be a special instrument set apart, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Flee from youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. But reject foolish and ignorant disputes, because you know that they breed quarrels. The Lord's servant must not quarrel, but must be gentle to everyone, able to teach and patient, instructing his opponents with gentleness. Perhaps God will grant them repentance, leading them to the knowledge of the truth. Then they may come to their senses and escape the trap of the devil, who has taken them captive to do his will. 
read the um, read the part about the uh, the wood and the different vessels. There's like two sentences there. Now in a large house, there are not only gold and silver vessels, but also those of wood and clay, some for honorable use and some for dishonorable use. So if anyone purifies himself from anything dishonorable, he will be a special instrument set apart, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Yeah, and then right after that it says, flee from youthful passions, right? Right. And what, what does it say after that? Flee from youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Pursue righteousness. I think that's awesome. I think that's a great picture for us today, thinking about um, being used by God in extraordinary ways. There are, you know, uh, there are honorable vessels in the house and dishonorable vessels. They, there are th- instruments that have special purpose. And he says, if you purify yourself, if you, uh, if you purify yourself, and the, and the way he explains that is by fleeing from youthful passions and whatnot. I think that's something we can strive for, to live a righteous life. And I know that we can't do that on our own, that we accept Jesus' righteousness. But if we ask him and, uh, and we pursue him, uh, he gives us that. And I think that's a great thing for us to strive for today, to think about what it means in our lives to be righteous and to be pure and to cleanse ourselves from the garbage that sometimes creeps in. We don't a lot talk about that um, here. We don't talk about the sin that creeps around the corner and and whatnot uh, all that often, but it's very plain that God sets a beautiful picture for us of what it means to Uh, pursue righteousness and how he has great things for us as we do that. Uh, So that's it for today. Um, We will see you all tomorrow. Say hi to Justin, my brother. Uh, Speaking of um, uh, training people to train others, Justin just finished school, uh, graduating with a degree in Bible uh, to help equip him to do more ministry. Uh, That's the stuff we're talking about in this chapter. Uh, So we're doing it in real life, training people to do ministry. Uh, All right. I love you guys and uh, hope you have a great rest of the day.